I'm Bex and welcome to my channel where I'm talking about eating disorder recovery. Please subscribe and hit the like button. So today I'm talking about calorie counting and having meals that are calorie counted because I've actually had a bit of a breakthrough recently with this so I wanted to talk about it and hopefully help other people if you may be stuck in the rut that I've been stuck in. So Throughout my whole eating disorder, before my eating disorder, I've always religiously calorie counted everything. And in my recovery, everything has been strictly calorie counted to like the one calorie, like everything is calorie counted. But I know what I'm having breakfast, lunch. My dinner isn't exactly specifically calorie counted, but I know it's roughly the same every day. And then I have my evening snack based on the calories I've eaten during the day so I see what I have left in the evening and I was thinking this is this is ridiculous why why do I get to the evening and I can see what I'm allowed to have like I for decades I've been eating numbers and not food like if I'm eat, if I'm choosing what I want to eat I'll be looking what fits the right number not what I actually want to eat so when it came to my evening snack I'd be thinking about what I could have what my calorie allowance would allow me to have which was often not what I actually wanted to eat but so I'd have to have what fitted in with the right numbers and I was getting so tired of it like decades of this it's tedious and I was just getting so frustrated and then the past three weeks I've as I say I've had a bit of a breakthrough so the first one was going out with my friend in London for, we went, we went to a pub, we had a pub lunch, which I spoke about on my previous vlog, which I can drop the link below. Um, so yeah, spontaneous lunch in the pub, didn't know we were gonna do it, didn't know the calories, and I just chose off the menu and ate it. And after that, I've kind of felt like, actually, yes, I can do it, and I, I'm eating, and I, I decided that that meal in the pub was going to be lunch it wasn't going to be a number I was going to be eating lunch not X calories so I've done that a little bit more as well so um, this week I went out for dinner with my friend Bex and again it was a menu which didn't have calories so I didn't know obviously what the numbers were I'd looked at the menu beforehand and decided what I was going to eat and then I got to the men got to the restaurant looked at the menu and that meal item was not on the menu and I was like oh god so I had to think on the spot which as you know if you've got an eating disorder it is very very hard to make a decision on the spot around food especially when you're completely out of your comfort zone like I was with not knowing the calories but so I chose roasted salmon with vegetables which was actually really really nice but salmon is a bit of a fear food of mine I used to have it many years ago but I stopped having it and it has become a fear as I've said before if you stop eating foods they generally become fears and then it's so hard to integrate them back so I kind of did a double whammy of no calories and a fear food but it was so good and it was just nice to be out with good company have a dinner and just be free from thinking well this is x number of calories and so when I got home and I had to have my evening snack, I didn't, and obviously normally I would have calculated all the calories that I'd had in the day to see what I had left, what I was allowed to have. And I just thought, well, dinner's dinner. I know roughly what my dinner normally is. So dinner is just going to be dinner. It's not going to be a number. It's going to be dinner and I'm going to have an evening snack like I would normally. So that was good. And then the next day I went out for brunch with one of my best friends Elena and again I didn't know where we were going beforehand got to the restaurant hadn't seen the menu I did have a bit of a um, mental block of what to have I, was, I looked at the menu and I was like oh my god I don't know what to do so I said to my friend I was like I don't know whether to have this 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 or this and she was like well I'd have one of the ones with the eggs so I was like okay that's two options removed two options to go and I just chose what I thought I would prefer and I had eggs benedict and it was really really nice I actually had a lovely really lovely time with her I enjoyed the food I 
the calories didn't matter it was going out with friends is far far more important than counting numbers and okay yes it's really nerve-wracking changing a habit of virtually a lifetime and having a meal without knowing the calories but I'd rather feel the fear and do it anyway and be able to go out for meals with my friends like I've done these three times and be in their company do these things rather than be stuck at home counting calories or stuck in a restaurant where I've worked out what I can have and then working out what I can have later I've gone out for lunch brunch and dinner and yeah it's terrifying but sometimes you just have to feel the fear and do it anyway that is the only way you're going to break free of the anorexic habits is to challenge them and yet I thought I could never do it seriously I thought there is no way on this earth that I can ever have a meal that's not calorie counted that I can ever get to the end of my day and having my evening snack and not know what I've eaten during the daytime to work out what I have had but I've, I've done it I've done it three times now and it's it's actually liberating it's so liberating and if I can do it after all these years then you can do it too you just have to it sounds stupid but you just have to be brave like you will feel terrified you will but you can do it don't let fear stop you doing it because the opportunities it gives you the life it gives you the experiences of going out for meals with your friends is far far more important than saying staying stuck in your anorexic routine where you're counting calories and obsessing over things like that and I mean I've still got a long ways to go I mean I've only done it three times but now I've done it I feel the more I actually want to do it and I'm able to do it so also with trying to not count calories of things when I've been sometimes having breakfast at home or my evening snack in the evening when on the days where I I am because I'm I am still calorie counting every day apart from the three times when I've been out which you you may think well you're still calorie counting but it's taking I have to take things slowly and these three times when I haven't calorie counted are actually actually massive achievements but as I'm saying also when I've been at home and say I've been having my rice krispies for breakfast I will have like a couple of handfuls of other cereal which I'm not counting the calories of I'm just having them as extra and that again is a massive step because I would always previously have been like I can't have it because I need a portioned quantified amount and I'm not just going to have a handful of something and not know the calories and not add, add them into my daily allowance so but that's what I've been doing so I've been having cereal and just having hand a couple of handfuls of a different type of cereal simply because I want it and that's all right you can have things you want you don't have to be well you don't have to be restricted and that's where I want to get to more so I'm doing that more often like I'm doing that on a fairly regular basis and if in the evening I'm having cereal as my evening snack I'll have a couple more handfuls of cereal or sometimes I've been like I want a jelly and I just had an extra I've had a jelly and not counted the calories even though it's low calorie jelly for me even if it was a one calorie jelly I would have added that one calories into my allowance be like well I can't have something else because I'm going to be one calorie over that is what I was like if I was if there was something that I wanted to have but it would put me 10 calories over my daily calorie allowance I'd be like well I can't have it and I had to find something to fit into my calories that was 10 calories less and it's just like 10 20 30 calories it just doesn't matter so yep yeah, I've been eating out more as I've explained and I'm also trying to challenge it more at home by just having a few little extras that I'm not working into my calorie allowance and that might be a way for you if you're at home and you're calorie counting you want to challenge it that might be a way for you to start doing it just introducing tiny little things that aren't calorie counted and as I say like these jellies they're they're low calorie they're like 10 calories but for me not including that in my calorie daily calorie allowance has been big because I've religiously counted to the exact calorie for decades so yes I just wanted to add that little bit in and also something that was really funny when I was out at brunch which I wouldn't have found funny previously 
So I ordered a peppermint tea and Elena ordered an Earl Grey tea and we poured our first cup, drinking, eating, and I was pouring more cups and I was thinking, this tastes really, really strong and it doesn't taste like peppermint, but I carried on drinking it and then we finished our meal and Elena went to pour more of her Earl Grey tea and her teapot was empty because I had been drinking all of her Earl Grey tea and not my, my peppermint teapot was still virtually full and we it was really really funny and I was like I thought it didn't taste like peppermint and obviously not it was Earl Grey tea and it, we were just laughing about it and all I felt was this is funny and then I thought I know even if this has happened say a year ago I'd have freaked out majorly that I'd drunk an Earl Grey tea and I'd be worrying about the calories that was in it like it would really like made me so anxious and worried but when this happened on Wednesday I was just it was just funny and it just it shows how far you can come if you keep challenging yourself and it's not to say I don't find it hard because I do but you just have to challenge yourself and know that life can get better the more you keep challenging and the more you open up your life away from the restricted prison cell of anorexia. So, yeah, that is my vlog for this week. Um, I hope you can take inspiration from it because it is, it is really hard. When you're stuck in that calorie counting world, it feels that there is no way you can ever get out of it. Like, And also it's hard because when you've been doing it for years and years and years, you virtually know the calories of food anyway. Like someone can say to me, I'm having this, and I'll be like, yeah, I can add it all up in my head. It's trying to train yourself not to add up each compartment. Like when I was having the brunch, I was thinking, okay, I've got a toasted muffin, I've got ham, I've got poached eggs. I can add up all the different elements and try and work out what I've got. And I was like, no, Rebecca, just, just think of it as brunch. You've had food, you ha you've eaten a meal, you haven't eaten numbers and that is where I want to go in the future that is where I hope my anorexia recovery can keep progressing and I really hope that if you're stuck in a calorie counting rut like I have been that you can just tackle it take it small that's how I've always had to do it take things little by little taking it one food item one meal time at a time but as impossible as it seems the impossible is never impossible. It is possible. It's a bit of a mouthful. You can, you are braver than you believe. And bravery doesn't mean you don't get scared. It means you don't let fear stop you. And that is what I've had to really learn with doing this. Like, yes, it's terrifying. And I get the butterflies in my stomach when I'm looking at the menu. Thinking, oh my God, what do I have? I don't know the numbers. But it is actually a liberating experience and being in the company of friends and doing things like that is so much more important than eating numbers. So yep, yeah, that's my video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, goodbye.